Welcome to the Unorthodox Podcast. Most people doing cool shit. Today we have a rapper. He's got the cosign from Lil Yachty. We got Don't Call Me Lucky. What's good, man? How you doing? Yeah. How you doing? What's happening? I do, love it. I can't complain. You doing? Uh, you do a lot of interviews. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Where is this yeah. What's good? Where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. What's this? Uh, one, I go out. This this my first Discord interview. I never did a Discord interview. Discord before. interview. Breaking the Discord yeah. cherry. Thanks. <laughs> the right way though. Facts. Unorthodox got you unlocked. Uh, what's good? What was it like growing up there, out in uh, out in Brooklyn? Oh man, like everything you've seen in the movies. Yeah. Yeah, man. Everything you've seen in the movies is the same oh, way, man. It's, it's a jungle, man. Yeah. Doggy just... dog world, steel cage. Where? What? What was? Uh, what was your childhood like growing up out there? What was it like being a kid out there? It's like being an adult, you know, being a kid is being a, being an adult out there. I don't think they see age, they don't really care about age. And I also grew up a lot in North Carolina too, so I was in North Carolina. My mom moved to North Carolina when I was a kid, and I was going back and forth living with her and my aunt in Brooklyn and my mother in North Carolina. So I, I, did, I, did, I did a mixture of both, a good mixture in North Carolina. Wait, wait, wait. All right, let's try and uh, let's go lumber. You be playing games a lot? Are you playing Warzone? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, whenever I get the chance. I'm really a 2K player. I ain't the best in Warzone, but I can hold my own. You good. We'll uh, try and hit this building. One day I want to get like a little stew set up and actually have people pull up and then we can like pick the game. The only reason I do Warzone is just like, is because uh, it's cross-platform. You can Everyone can do it from home. One day okay, I want to have, have people pull up and then you can play 2K, you can play... Grand Theft Auto, you can do I ain't like, gonna lie. We, like, we play 2K, I'm putting money, whoever wanna play, I'm smoking. Yeah. Yeah. You nice at 2K? Alright, Ronnie need to put me on the team, man. Weird. Yeah, no, I ain't a, I ain't a 2K player, but I'd be down to get on here, because I'd be... I know these rappers be hella on, hella on 2K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm better than all of them. I'm up in Canada, so our, sh our thing is hockey. We ain't really with the basketball. Really? I don't think I played, um, I can't, I don't think I ever played a hockey game like that. I think the last hockey game I played was like, I don't know, probably like 2012 or something. Damn. Yeah, no, hockey definitely ain't as big out there as it is here. You guys right, got your team. Uh, your hockey team. My city, Edmonton Oilers, that's where I'm from. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you watch hockey at all? Not at all. Not I at all. The Where? New York. The Rangers, yeah, New York, facts. The Islanders. Yeah, facts. They're, uh, they've done better than us the last couple of years for sure. Oh, that's fire. <laughs> Yo, you know it's crazy? Um, you Are you familiar with FaZe? FaZe Clan? FaZe Clan, yeah. F yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. When I, uh, one of my friends, Zeno, Zeno just sent me an invite. FaZe. You see, I, I don't know if I've... I've probably heard... I've probably seen them. I definitely want to lock in with some of the phase guys. I think this would be hella tight to get some uh, actually gaming guys on this podcast because it's, I mean, phase is very much for the culture and shit. Like they got all their rappers and shit that are part of phase and stuff too, like Yachty and stuff. And this, yeah, facts. This uh, oh, two right there, two right there, two yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. And this podcast very much like, you know, for the culture and gaming. Oh, you smoke me. I Thanks, John. Yeah, actually. Oh, he folds you too. Yes. I uh, got his ass. What? I don't even know how he killed me, though. Man. Oh, this guy's got a self. Damn, I had him both and he self revived. We good? Yeah, that'd be tight. Some phase guys, I've been definitely looking into trying to try and get to some of those guys. Some of them are just hella too big for me. <laughs> Hey, yo. Um, yeah, Zeno, Zeno, my boy. Yeah? Weird, we'll, uh, maybe I'll hit him up. So, to get back to Brooklyn, made you, made you grow up quick, or what? Yeah, of course, yeah, fact, bro. You have to. 
Like, you have to, as a child, you know, you're going to school by yourself. You go to school by yourself, like playing outside by yourself. Like, so you just got to do a lot of things as a child that adults would do in a different state. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm, pretty sure, like I'm pretty sure, like, where you from, like, as a kid, you don't just wake up in the morning and got to go to the store and shop the whole family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, like that stuff that we do, you know, we just wake up, we go to the store, we go purchase items for the whole family. I mean, stuff like that, like just little small things that you do as a kid that adults doing. Yeah, you, you know? yeah, like you said, you're starting, yeah, doing adult shit early. Yeah. What uh, What actually made you start getting into rap music? How old were you when you started getting into that? Um, I always felt like my mom's, like, um, I grew up in church, you know, so we always were singing. There's always music going on in the house, and my mom's is from the island. She's Panamanian, you know what I mean? So, everybody, you know, like, island is, like, you know, music is our thing. We wake up, we play music when we clean in, all that stuff. So, I always just make music been around the house. My older brothers, everybody just do music. My right. mother was, like, a fam famous gospel singer. Damn, I always do music and Yeah. And um, I just, you know what I mean? Being outside, going outside every day, everybody rapping, battling. And I just always used to get involved. Like every battle I rap, like like in, in my area, like I say, you know, you say you like hockey. Like, yeah, yeah. We like basketball, rap, and slap boxing. Like that's all we did. Grandma. That's fire. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's tight. Just like you said, just like the movies, just everyone on the block, yeah. just rap battling and shit. That's tight. Facts, it's, it's just like that, bro. That's so it's just like that, like, if we chill it and my and your friend rap, I come up, you know, your friend, you'll be like, yo, my friend better than you. I'm like, no, he not. And we just battle right there on the spot. Like, just, that's just how it was. Put him in your place. And were you always nice at rap battling or what? Yeah, always, 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 always was ahead of everybody. Always. What, uh, what kind of, like, were you just practicing in your room and shit or just from just growing up rap battling all your life? Or are you just taking inspiration from, like, people like Biggie that were out there? Like what, what kind of like? Nah, it's, it's just, it's really just going outside, just rapping. And just doing I mean, it like, all I'm, the time. I be dancing, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm always into music. Like everybody who know me know, like I'm a person always beating on the desk, always rapping, always dancing. Like I'm just always doing something musically inclined, like singing, I'm always just doing something. You know what I mean? So right. I just, that was it. That's why when I came outside, it's like, oh, you know what I mean? Boogie outside, like, yo, you know what I mean? We rap, we battle. Yeah, you just, just dance. Just, yeah, it's tight. Yeah, that's very out here. It's crazy to see the difference in some of these places. Like out here, bro, people. It's crazy to see that like your guys' lifestyle is just like everyone grows up doing that, and it's tight to like do that shit out here. People are doing that. It's like, bro, people are clowning on you, and like people think you're weird and shit. Like just two like very different cultures. Yeah, facts. Yeah, the culture is different. Facts. I'm pretty sure, like, out there, like, if you outside working on hockey or something, you know, like, people will be like, oh, you're doing the right thing. Over here, if, you go, if I come outside and see somebody working on hockey, I'm going to be like, all oh, right. Yeah. It might be a serial killer or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 100%. Hockey. Yeah, like, why the fuck? That's not taking you anywhere. Yeah, facts. Like, what, what type of life is you living where you think hockey's going to get you out of here? Yeah, facts. It's 100% what it is. It's uh, yeah, like you said, it's the coaches. Yeah. So then, what went? What was the point where it kind of like made you flip into like taking it seriously and developing it into music? Um, well, my my brother, um, my brother, is incarcerated right now. My older brother, he loves music. You know what I mean? And he always was like a person like, "Yo, I'm gonna get famous. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take care of the family." Ah, uh -huh. you know. And I was like. I'm just like I like having fun. You know what I'm saying like I like going to parties and just dancing, just being around people. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I like doing. Like I never thought rap can be something that the world would know me for. You know what I mean? Like I was just a fun person. Like I feel like everybody liked me because I'm fun. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? So I like got incarcerated. When he got incarcerated, I felt like I was obligated to, you know, pick up the slack. So when he come home, he don't have to work as hard as because. You know, my brother got 24 to 31, you know, so he's been going 20 years. Damn. So for him to try to 
to catch up on everything he lost in the past 20 years is going to be damn near impossible. Yeah, fill those shoes. So, yeah, so I, I just tried to make make it as easy as possible for him so when he come home, he don't have to do nothing but just do what he loved to do. Fire. That's, uh, that's true love right there. That's a brother. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm a brother's keeper for sure. Yeah, that's tight. That's good. You got a good group of people around you that, that look out for C Division and the music and stuff? Oh yeah, 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 of course, man. I got a, I got a great, great group of people around me. They understand, you know, what I'm trying to do, and they they, they understand where I come from, and you know, the battles, you know, I'm facing on everyday life, and they 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 make sure I stay level headed, and they make sure I, I stay prepared and ready. Yeah, fire. You gotta keep those people around you, hundred percent. Thanks. Trying to get us a load out here. We're gonna, we're gonna get some guap up here and get a loadie. Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm trying, I'm trying to find some steeds right now. You gotta find a, trying to find a scab or something here. Shit, look how hell. I was about to go get that bounty, but that bounty ain't gonna help right now. Yeah, I kind of, my guns are kind of dim right now. Enemy UAV over here. This is my, this is like the second time he's playing. I don't know why they don't have quads. I mean, duos no more in battle royale. Yeah, bro, they just change all the shit. You excited for the new map that's coming out? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that'd be tight. It'd be a good change to the game. I was sad that they didn't change it the first time when they update, did that big update. Yeah. How are you? Like... Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. I got that. I wasn't going to say nothing important. <laughs> nah, you good. This interview is about you. Everything you say is important. Uh, so how are you actually starting to make music and stuff? Were you like home recording? How are you getting studio time and stuff? Yeah, um, actually my friend, um, Geek, his name is Geeks. Um, we all like just, you know, kids in the projects, you know what I mean? Like Geeks, real smart, you know, computer savvy and all that. So we all like money to or whatever, got the studio equipment, got camera. And we just started, you know, rapping and shooting videos. Word, fire. Enemy team is tracking your like, and, and their projects, and then I kind of, you know, left. I, oh, shit, they, they tracking, bro. I'm not even close to you. I'm not, yeah, I'm going to try and get back to you. Oh, they're shooting at me already. I'm going to try and run back oh, to yeah. you. Where are you shooting from? from? Uh, I think they're on this building. Coordinates marked. Oh, shit, he's right by that tree right in front of me. Right here. She got a she had a free lick on him. Nice. There's two on me. Oh, they're right in front of us on the mark. I kind of got dookie guns right now. Yeah, that's one. Hey, let's go. Rolling. They had their loadouts full. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these guns for sure. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we still. How much is the loadout? I wonder if they changed the. Um... Uh, I just looked. They changed it to 15 instead of 10. Oh, so we got enough? Uh, nah, 15,000 instead of 10,000. We need like five Grax more. Oh, oh, oh. Five Damn. more racks. Yeah, they fucking. We gotta. What we gonna? Let's try and uh, let's try and do this. Get some bread. Scavenger contract. Copy. Is that on which one? Yeah, but yeah, that's that's what we did, though. You know. Fire. What? Uh, when did you feel like you were kind of like onto something? You got the attention of Yachty. How'd that happen? Um, that's my brother. Like outside of music, you know. Where did you grow? You grew up with him or Not met him or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we met each other. Like, now nah, we ain't grew up together. Yadi yeah, from he's from Atlanta. Right. Yeah, we um that's just my brother though, you feel me? Like we got family tied. Word tight. Yeah, so that's my brother. Mutual connections or something? Yeah, facts. Mutual. And then you know we just connect it. We just connect it instantly. Fire. How'd how'd the song come together? There's a guy in here. It's one shot in there. Yeah, nice. Oh, one more behind us. You ran up the stairs? 
It's above. Oh, you sure? Oh. Ow. Ah, you chilling. Oh, Yo. good. We almost had Yo. him. Yo. Ew. How did he make that jump? Bruh, some kids on this game are just nutty. Like, he made that jump. Ew. Yo, you see that? You got five kids, only had one. Bro, we were kind of we turning up a little bit. We were getting into it. So, again, yeah. We're but, right back. But, um, the song, um, now we was just in the studio. You know? We was just in the studio one day, and he was making a song, and I liked it. I'm like, yo, that's my speed right there. He's like, all right, I'm going to send it to you. Get on it. And I did it. He liked the verse. I actually did a verse before that. He was like, oh, here's the thing about Bo. He's a very honest person. He won't play none of that. Like, oh, I like it. You my boy. He's going to be real with you. Straight like, shooter, yeah. Him, like, recorded it. He's like, it's cool. I'm like, what you mean? Is it good? He's like, it's cool. Like, I listen to it. It's cool. Like, who, like, who are you? Like, don't nobody know who you are right now. Like, don't you want to stand out? I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right, so do a better verse. I'm like, all right. And then get a better verse. And he's like, I just don't like it. And then he just, we put it out, you know? Yeah, and that's tight. Like, want... You got to have those people yeah. around you 100% because, bro, you're never going to, you're never going yeah. to grow if you don't put that, like, if you don't have, if you just got yes men around you that are just saying, yeah, that's cool, that's tight, that's going to go, that's going to go. And you don't have someone to be like, just like, you know, you need that constructive criticism. Like, not to say, like, yo, you're shit stop but you need nah, you nah, need even if, if he felt like that he was he would have been right you know what i'm saying like but yeah I, 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 I he's not putting you down for it he's not saying you're like you're a clown for rapping he's just saying like yo like try again this yeah, one he, this one not yeah. it and you need that yeah, you otherwise you're not gonna have you're not gonna grow and if if your shit isn't on the caliber where people are gonna start to notice it you need someone to tell you that shit so that you make better shit and you come harder, and that's that's how you grow, and that's how you learn. If you're not growing and learning, you're never gonna progress your career, no matter what it is, whether it be hockey or rapping or YouTube or whatever you do. Whatever, yeah, whatever you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate him for that for sure. Yeah, I got some kids around me too that I was help, I'm trying to help uh, do some rapping stuff in too, and I'm just. You know, being that those ears and stuff, saying like, you know, try again. It's not bad, but you know, try again. And not quite there yet. You yeah, gotta, yeah, you got. You gotta have that group for sure. It's a key part of your group for anybody that's trying to come up. You gotta make sure you as well as with them. Weird. What's your relation with the uh, boat like now? You guys still cool and shit? Still making songs together or what? That's my brother, bro. That's my brother. Like, I, that's the best way to describe it. This isn't like that's music. Tight. Oh, that's my dog. That's like, this is real life. Like, like rap. Like, this don't got nothing to do with music at all. Like, that's my. That's fire. Like, really, like, that's good. Yeah, that's good. You got a relation. Everything. Yeah, a relationship like that outside of music, and you don't got to connect a little bit more on a personal level. Yeah, facts. I asked my brother, like, I just, I just opened up for him in London at a festival, the ATL festival. The first, like, 50,000 people out there. Like, I just opened up for him. Fire, yeah. I was going to get into that. What was it like doing that? What was that show? Oh, man, that show was turned, bro. Like, fuck. What you think about a train station? Yeah, let's run it. I was running that back. It was geeked up, bro. Like, it was, it was on so for, for the fact that like, nobody in the crowd knew who I was, and for me to get the reaction I got, it just, it just felt, felt good. You know what I'm saying? That's tight. It felt, it felt like I belong. That's fine. I, I don't care what nobody say with this music. You get discouraged from time to time. You know, you put out songs and visualize. Drop this. I'm going to get million views in a month. Like, you see everybody doing great with numbers. And then your numbers don't go where you expect that. You know what I mean? Like, you get the pressure. You know? Sometimes you be like, damn. Am I good? When you start questioning yourself. And that, for me, like, yeah, 100%. I, feel good about myself. I know that feeling all too well. I've been trying to do this YouTube shit for, bro, since I've probably been like 10 years old. And I mean, it's the same shit. You see the views and the shit, you just get in your head, and it's like, bro, what am I doing with my life right now? Until you, yeah, have, until you have that moment where you're just like, all right, I'm kind of on to something. Uh, or like, yeah, I'm a you kind of need those little like 
those little like mile markers that those little those little little golden nuggets in your life that are just like all right i can keep doing this i'm, I'm on to some shit starting to happen thanks what uh imagine? yeah go ahead sorry homie i keep cutting you off no 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 you gucci bro gucci that what you was about to say what festival was that out there um it was like an atl london festival it's like a new festival i think they just started i think this is like year two or year three or something where but it, i know there was it, was it was a lot of people out there yeah that shit looked crazy um, yeah. That shit was bumping. It was fire. Was that one of your first time performing? Nah, that wasn't my first time for a crowd like that. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm not even saying. And play. Like, oh, no, that's normal. Hell no. I ain't gonna lie. Before that, the largest crowd, I probably performed it for like 100 people, bro. Uh, like, that was the biggest crowd I've ever performed in front of my life. That's tight. What was that? What was the difference? Like, you nervous, or you just get out there and just let it go? The thing about it is, I'd be more nervous with the hundred people than I was the fifty thousand. With the hundred people, it's like, it's like, cause I be feeling like it's more personal. Like with the fifty thousand, it's like I don't expect nothing from them. You know what I mean? Yeah. With the hundred, expect to look in the crowd and see all hundred rocking with me. Uh, that's fire, but it's like. You look at their faces and they all be looking at you like, yo, bro, who the fuck are you? <laughs> but it's like, when I went out there with them 50,000, it's like, it was all love. Like, you wanna go get the loadout? Uh, we got enough? 10? Oh, nah. shit, it's not 10. We, st we need, like, three more racks still. Yeah. Forget. I keep forgetting, I mean, forgetting that. Yeah, I don't know why they should, they change that shit. Just a little bit more bread. <laughs> yeah, friends. But yeah, when I, when, I, when I was performing, it was, it was love, bro. I, you know, the video on my Instagram and all that. Yeah, that's I from the sh that's from the it was all love. That's fire. You feel like COVID, uh, as a little bit of a smaller artist, you feel like COVID helped you, like, kind of perfect your music and, like, really lock down some content and stuff, even though you couldn't perform? Um, not, not really, bro. I ain't gonna lie. COVID really didn't do nothing for me I, because I wasn't recording during COVID. I didn't do shit during COVID. Like, I wasn't even playing my songs or anything. I really was just playing the game a lot. Yeah. Like, for me, like, that's all I was doing during COVID. Yeah, weird. A lot of people's... Some people, like, COVID really helped them or really, like, set them back, depending where you are where in your career. Like, a lot of p careers and shit were birthed through that shit. Cause Why? No one had. Oh, damn! They're right in front of us. No one had shit to do but make content, whether it be music or YouTube videos or stream video games. He's coming. He's pushing us. He's in the building, right to our right. I'm not going. I'm going there. He's got the nail gun. This he fucked me right on up. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we chillin'. We good. We rolling. We got the loadout now. We gonna run through these kids. Nah, how did he fuck me up like that though? What gun did he? I have? nail gun usually. Do yeah, where? What the? He had a bullfrog, bro. He had a ground loop bullfrog. He just fried us like that. Yeah, like damn. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go grab this bounty and. Let's run it. Yeah, COVID. COVID was a blessing to a lot of people and not to a lot of others. Yeah, good stuff didn't start happening for me until after COVID. Like, COVID really had nothing to do with anything. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. And with COVID, all types of shit. Like, it was just like, I ain't like COVID time. Where? What's what's the states like right now out there with all the COVID? Um, it's 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 kind of easing up a little bit, but it's like it's getting back to it. Yeah, like it's starting to, it's starting to pick up all over again. Yeah, out here they just there's a guy right here. Yeah, you see him. Nice. 
Oh, oh shit, he's gonna fry me. Yeah, out here, COVID was just chilling out too, and then all of a sudden it picked up and they locked like everything down again. Oh shit, where is he? They run to the house, they did. That guy's hurt a little bit. Oh, he stunned me, he's pushing me. Nice, the other guy's on me. Broken. Just one shot. Not good. I don't know where he went. I lost him. Ah, uh, all good. My fault, bro. He passed on me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you good? It's all yeah, he good. passed on me. You all good? Damn. Hey, I'm looking a little better this match. What a, what do you got coming up next? Um, I just dropped a single Dundata. It's kind of a drill beat with a little twist on it. I just dropped that. Yeah, I heard that one too. That one was tight. That was the one you, you performed at the festival, wasn't it? The Foster that. clip? So I got a good crowd reaction, so I'm like, I'm just drop that so you heard. Yeah, that shit, that shit one was nutty. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try, and then I'm gonna just, you know, try to push that fight. Like, we just go and I'ma just drop another song. I'ma just keep dropping, man. You know I mean, while I got a little bit of momentum. Yeah, you gotta keep that shit going. Yeah, facts. I'ma just keep dropping, man. Um, you know, you get my name out there, become a household name. Yeah, facts. I see it. I can see I'm behind the vision now for sure. Like on some real shit, I had no idea who you were until till Nico put me on, and then I started listening to some of your shit, and I was like, damn, this kid, this kid kind of tight. You kind of got something going on. So I see the vision for sure. Damn, you really scuffed my scavenger. Yeah, what's going on? Oh. Right on up in this set. Bruh. So I'll go around one more. I'm getting spanked. Damn, but we gotta get top tank, eh? We gotta Keep get in there. Good. I've had one win on the podcast. One person won. So we gotta right. get a, we gotta get another win with somebody. Oh, man, it's me. Let's right, do it. Let's get it. Let's lock in. Pick up. Lock in. Let's get it. So what's your what's your game plan? Dropping singles, album, project, EP. I'm gonna drop like two more singles, and I'm gonna drop a um a little EP. Where it fire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wanna get some more buzz. You know, I don't wanna drop an EP and then. Where? Yeah, yeah. Like my last EP, I dropped Bishop. Like I did. I did that shit. I'm gonna like a little mini tour. I went, you know, performed in a club in North Carolina, Fire. performed in Cali. I performed. I did it. I did a lot. Like, had radio play, radio, um, like a little radio press run, all that. So it's like, that kind of got me bubbling. So if I drop another one, I want that one to be better than the last yeah, one. Yeah, you know elevate, elevate. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I don't want to drop and do the same thing all over again. Yeah, hundred percent. You got a you got a name for that project or anything yet? Yeah. Nah, I don't know. Nothing. I don't, I don't got, I don't got one. Yeah, it depends on where I'm at in life when it's coming right. out. You know. Yeah, I got in a you. great space, it'll be a great name. If I'm in one of those spaces where I'm frustrated, it's gonna be great. Yeah, like, I, I don't got know you. where I'm at. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah. You got uh, anyone on there specifically yet? Anybody oh, you working yeah, with? Bro. No idea. I'm not gonna okay, spill it. Yeah, yeah I'm with yeah, yeah, I work with a lot of people, but you know, I don't know. I you I normally don't put features on, on like tapes. Like I put a feature for a single. You know what I mean? But yeah, as far yeah. as like I, I wanna get me out there first. You know what I mean? Like yeah. even a showing with me and Boat, like I wouldn't put that up there. Word. I don't want people to be feel me to know me for oh, that's the kid I did the show with, Lil Yachty. Now nah, I want them to know Lucky, feel me, don't call me Lucky. How do you feel about I know it's a big controversy between artists where you really grind and don't utilize those connections and people really quote unquote see you for you 
or you get that cosine from someone like I don't know let's just say Yachty in your case and he really puts you on you get a fan base and you really grow your fan base from that one definitely takes a lot longer but one you might not have the genuine fans yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um honestly bro at this point i was on that whole oh i don't want to help i'm my own self i want people to help me for anything like i'm still on that as far as album go but i kind of realized that like what's the difference if they know me for me or cosign they know who i am facts that's how i look at it i think you should be saying? using any resource you have to your ability you should be using those connections and those people to help you elevate and not even on some like dick sucking shit like i'm gonna use this person but just on some like you know you scratch their back they scratch yours like you just help each other out and help each other grow like like you said you guys you and yadi your brothers right you help him whether it be fuck i don't know maybe he needs <laughs> needs someone to watch his dog or something like next week and you just help him walk his dog and just be a bro for him and then you know he's got your back on whatever and the next thing you know you guys are making music together or whatever it is and i don't yeah, think it really matters bro like you look at all the people drake put on that were able to run with careers and shit drake got put on for me like everybody it's like and that's the thing it's rare it, that you just do it all by yourself yeah everyone gets put on from somebody whether like yeah there's always someone that helped you kind of progress your career a little bit faster or, or not. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact. So, yeah, just, you know, there's certain times I got to put my pride to the side and just, you know, ask for that help. But, you know, oh, oh, they're hella people here. Mad people. Oh, my God. Bro, there's... Oh, he's one shot. No! He's... Get his ass. Yeah. Bro, there's hello people here. Yeah. Oh, shit. My bad. He's just peeking that window. coming bro i need that gun give me that bitch they're below us i'm still in this oh shit i fell off the roof no, no there's another one i got one Yo, bro i was trying this is tough brothers bro now so many people there and we had no guns. Bro, we're trying to take the plate, like stop from putting the plate so he would not stop. <laughs> it's all good. We're gonna win this and we're gonna win the game. We're gonna win these gulags. You got uh, any other names that you're working with? Just on singles or anything like recently? Um, Anyone I know cool? really just uh Really, I'm just working with you know Concrete Boys right now. Fire. You know, the team. Yeah, just working with them right now. We might we might put out a um, little compilation album soon. Like you know, just working with the guys right now. Tight. Tight. What do you got for uh, Dream Collab? You get anyone on a song? Who you getting on? Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Jay-Z, Andre 3000, Frank Ocean, and Chief Keef. Like, though, they don't gotta be the same song, of course. Yeah, but yeah. Those are dream collapses. Tight. Alright, where we going? You win that gulag, you win the game. Find us. Let's get it. 
Let's see if we can find a little scab here. It looks like there's nothing. Yeah, ain't nothing over here. Ain't nothing over here, but like a there, bounty. There's one. There's a scab downtown. I think that's the only one. So hopefully no one, no one chances that off us. Yeah, those are those are people I really would love to work with. <laughs> What else I got for you? Who's the coolest person you got to uh, got to work with through this music shit? You got to work with or meet or. Um. Damn, I'm trying to think who cool. Um, uh, Vori cool. Vori's Vori tight, Vori. yeah, Vori. Yeah, oh, I love Vori. Vori, Vori cool. Sierra Wack cool. Since the rapper was cool. Tight. Um, Kodak is cool. Uh, Casting over real cool. It's mad people that's you know I mean? cool. That's right. a lot of cool people. Young Thugs, man, cool. He's cool. Uh, little baby, cool. Bro, you got look at this guy's list. He's got a long list already. Yeah, like I, I, I've never worked with any any of these people. Just you know, being in the stu oh shit, I think somebody took this guy. Oh shit, bro. Uh, you wanna get the bounty in the hospital? Sure. Let's go. Yeah, these, these aren't people I've worked with, but these are just people, you know what I mean, been in the studio, you know, been around. Yeah, nah, it's still cool. Those are still, I mean, still opportun opportunities to put your name out there, just going back to the whole connections thing. Yeah, fact, that's a fact. People you can either link up with later in life or just you know get cool with for now and utilize that maybe someone knows someone that they think would oh. sound good with you if somebody wants will you ping that they just started blocking that one i'm trying to get some trying to get some guns you good right now do you help? Yeah, I'm just... Good. Nah, 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 nah. Good, I got, right. Yeah, I got a problem with it. Uh -huh. Alright. Damn. Oh, I hear the red door. Oh, red door right here, bro. Alright, just hold up. I'll get there. Just don't run through yet. I know, I know. Uh, I gotta find my way up there. Alright, where are the stairs in this bitch? I don't come hospital often. Come. It's right here. No, yeah, I got the zip. Yeah, Alright, let's run it. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. What do you uh what do you got for long term goals? Um I just wanna take care of my family. That's it, like Is that the one? I think it's this one. We're going on this one. I bet it's one. Hopefully it's this one. I think it is the right one. Supposed to flash her. Oh, I picked her wrong. <laughs> My bad. Oh. oh, fuck. We needed that loot. Uh, shit. Let's try TV, maybe. Fuck. I thought that was the one. It flashed. It's supposed to flash red, and I thought that was it. Oh, you landed already. Oh! You good? I got you. He's, he's like fire. Like, how do you even saw me? You got nah, that's crazy. no goals to uh, get on a label or anything or do anything like that musically? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whichever, whichever label believe in me, bro. Like, whichever label you want, you know, take the time, believe in me, help me out, get to where I want to get to where I can take care of my family, everybody around me. Change, change everybody I know lives. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's all. No, oh, I just want to get to the point where like, I'm just a household name and I'm taking care of people. So yeah, that's my goal. Like, I don't want the crowd. I don't want to be the most famous. Oh, he's on the stairs. Oh, you hopped off. Damn. Okay. Oh, that's my fault. My fault. You get. I'll get one up top on that building. I'm on the telephone and cheese. But yeah, I don't want to be the most late rapper or the most famous rapper. I just want to be a person that everybody around me is good. You know what I mean? Yeah, facts. Yeah. Oh, listen, lose it. 100%. Uh -huh. 
Hundred percent. What are you? Uh, is the music sustaining you right now? Are you working on the side? Nah, nah. I, I haven't worked on it. Yeah, what you doing? Yeah, uh, yeah music, 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 taking care of me, right. helping me travel, helping me, you know, see my kids. You know, got two daughters. I just had one a month ago. Tight. What's yeah, so. what was that like being able to support yourself through music, making that transition? It's amazing. It's amazing being able to do what you love. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, don't nobody, I don't care what type of job you have, nobody enjoys waking up in the morning. Like, whatever time you have to wake up and go listen to somebody else. 100%, bro. That shit's whack. Yeah, like, nobody. I'm not saying nothing is wrong with it. Some people, that's what you have to do. I commend you and I applaud you. It's not like I never had a job before, but. I know that that's not something that you wish you could. Everybody wish they could stay at home and make money. Yeah. Do do the things they love to do. You know what I mean? Some people like eating. Someone would love to get paid just to eat. It's not like a loadout. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Well, everything over has been looted. Yeah, 100%, bro. Even with this YouTube shit, I don't want to, like, like you said, I don't need to be famous, rich, nothing. I just want to be able to quit my job, take care of people. Right. Something that you like to do. Quit my job, bro. Play video games, talk to rappers, make YouTube videos. Because, bro, waking up at six in the morning, doing some shit that someone else wants you to do, it just. It's not interesting. It's not fun to me. Yeah, I already know. Like, you're not. For me, you're not the only person that. Right below you, yeah. On the hill to your right, too. Up there, yeah. Up to your left, yeah. This kid's gonna be running across the river. Yeah, right where that quad is. And just keep below you, below you still. Right below you. Yep. Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> you're good, you're chill. Yeah, I didn't go live, bro. <laughs> I swear I thought I'd do it, bro. I thought I'd do it. <laughs> you good, you nah, straight. I was, <laughs> nah, I thought I'd do it. <laughs> you're good, you're chilling. Alright. How would uh, how you come up with your name? You told me they call me Ace Boogie. You know what I mean? Everybody who know me know call me as Ace. Like if you know me, you know me growing up or whatever, you know me as Ace or Boogie. Yeah. So Ace Boogie and you know what I mean, paid in full. It's it's two reasons. Like I it, it, it just depending on how I'm feeling, what type of answer you gonna get. Don't call me lucky. Everything I'm that's happening for me is not luck. You know what I mean? Like I work off everything. Like I'm blessed. Facts. That's one. I like, depend on you know what I mean. If something good just happened, I'll hit you with the you know. No, I'm blessed. Don't call me lucky. Yeah. Call me like lucky. Like wow, you know. Don't you know? Don't call me lucky. I found a hundred dollars on the floor. Now like, oh shit! Don't call me lucky. It's fire. And his name was Ace in the movie. Alright. Tight. All right, word. Uh, I got a couple rapid fire questions for you. We'll wrap her up. We're almost hitting an hour, so I'll hit you with just a couple, couple fun questions. Just rip them off the top. Go to fast food. You broke up there. That one I didn't hear you. I said. Oh, I said the chicken spot. Fire. Uh, go to chocolate bar. Hershey's. Hershey's. Hershey's white chocolate. Is a hot, Hershey's white chocolate. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Never. Pause. No mouth for eat hot dog. <laughs> right? You got a celebrity crush. Or your girl not going to let you get away with that one. Facts. Girl. 
Sorry. <laughs> Be- best Call of Duty of all time. Warzone. Oh, damn. Warzone's tight. All right, word. All right. If you want to plug anything, floor is yours. Plug your Instagram, new songs, whatever you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all go, y'all go check out my new single, Dandada, by Don't Call Me Lucky, D-O-N-T-K-A-L-L-M-E-L-U-X-X-Y. All platforms, just type me in, everything gonna pop up. Shout out, Mick, for the for the connection. Gang. Um, shout out, Concrete Boy. Shout out, everybody, man. Shout out, Brooklyn. Shout out, North Carolina. Yeah, let's do it. Fire, let's get it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace. I hear a lot of niggas talking, they ain't really body. Better watch what you say. I ain't got no time for the games on play. Niggas say they want it, they ain't doing what it takes. The nigga, you in the way. Yeah. Got a shot, he calling me on FaceTime. The baby, you know that I'm racing to you. Put your love in my hands. Maybe you know I won't do you like that.